Armed police are afraid to use their weapons. A warning from the head of the Met. Earlier this week, an officer was charged with the murder of Chris Carber. The 24-year-old was killed when he was shot through the windscreen of a car in southeast London in September last year. Dozens of authorised firearms officers laid down their weapons in protest against the charge. Today, in an open letter to the Home Secretary, the Met Commissioner, Sir Mark Rowley, called for changes to the way police are treated by the criminal justice system and a review of the accountability mechanisms they are subjected to. He said, Accountability matters, but we should not have allowed ourselves to develop a system where police officers get investigated for safely pursuing suspects just because the suspect acts recklessly and as a result injures themselves or someone else. This is unfair on our officers and discourages them from chasing down criminals. Armed officers know they need to justify their actions, especially when lethal force is used. He was responding to the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, who today announced a review into armed policing. She said, Officers risking their lives to keep us safe have my full backing and I will do everything in my power to support them. That's why I have launched a review to ensure they have the confidence to do their jobs while protecting us all. The Home Secretary was pretty explicit about her support for firearms officers and this has turned up the heat on Sir Mark Rowley, the Met Commissioner, who will want to signal that he's very much in control of the situation. But some aren't convinced. This should have come out much sooner. It seems to have been prompted by the Home Secretary's intervention, which again, I think, just shows that the, the almost like the type of leadership and support that the officers have been asking for. So we've got the Home Secretary intervene, first of all. Now we've got a statement from the Commissioner. For me, it should have been the other way around. Tensions among firearms officers flared following the Crown Prosecution Service's decision to charge the officer who killed Chris Carber. Dozens handed back permits, allowing them to carry weapons, prompting the Ministry of Defence to offer up armed soldiers in support. The MOD said in a statement... We have accepted a military aid to the civil authorities' request from the Home Office to provide routine counter-terrorism contingency support to the Metropolitan Police, should it be needed. Sir Mark Rowley will be hoping that he can regain the confidence of his officers before such an outcome will come to fruition.